Hey everybody, Karma Senga here, and today I want to talk a little bit about money management. Now, this is something a lot of people in the entrepreneurial world and the marketing world don't really talk about, uh, but I re really want to talk about it. I've been in the financial industry for a very long time. I teach people how to trade and so forth. I'm not a financial adv advisor, but uh, I love talking about money. Um, I, I I really enjoy money, um, but I see a lot of really big mistakes that a lot of entrepreneurs make. You know, they they get a check. Actually, let, let's just move on to the slide. So, you know, they get a check or some money from maybe a, a client, a personal client, and 80% of the time, 80% of people, they will get a check and they drop it into their personal account, all right? I see this all the time and I'm constantly yelling at some of my clients about this. They don't separate their business from their personal life. And so I see a lot of times they put it into their personal account. Let's just say this is a $10,000 check and they put it into their personal account and then all of a sudden it starts dwindling away. They start spending that money over and over and over again. And then all of a sudden it's gone and they don't really know what happened to it. This is a horrible, horrible thing to do. You really need to get a hold of your finances and your money. So I want to talk a little bit about what I do. Now, first thing first, I want to give a big warning here. All right. I am not a registered investment advisor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an accountant. This is just, I'm just going to share what I personally do, what has made me so much money and, and kept so much money in my accounts. I, that's all I'm going to do is just share with you what I do. All right. Now, one thing that I believe that you need to do is you need to incorporate yourself, right? So your business. So whether that means an LLC or an LLP, LLC is a limited liability company. LLP is a limited liability partnership or an S corp or a C corp. It doesn't really matter, right? What I suggest is that you go ask your accountant that, you know, is in your state that knows, you know, the laws and so forth that, you know, apply specifically to what it is that you're doing in the state that you're doing it in. If you're overseas, again, just talk to an accountant. Um, one thing I also suggest is that you also need to at least have a business account, right, on top of your personal account. Now, I'm going to show you how I set things up, right? So we have, you know, checks coming in. And we're, we're, we're just going to go kind of with an easy number of 10000 all right? So let's say $10,000 comes in. Where does it go to? Well, for me, the first place that it goes to is my business account, all right? I have a business account set up that every single penny that I get, it goes into, all right? The next thing uh, that happens from there is money gets automatically transferred over to my tax account. So... You know, like, like all of us, we all pay taxes. It doesn't matter what country you're in. You're going to pay taxes. And sometimes it's a lot of taxes. So automatically, the second money comes in uh, into my business account, 33% of whatever money that is. So if it's $10,000, $3,300 is going immediately into my tax account, all right, so that I can pay taxes at the end of the year or quarterly or, or however long you do it. All right. The next thing is that I have business expenses as well. So 33% of that $10,000, so another $3,300 is going to stay in my business account. Now, I don't have a separate uh, account for business expenses. I'm just showing that, you know, for business expenses, 33% of that will stay into my business account. All right. Now, after that, I have a account, which I call my financial hub, all right? And in the financial hub, 34% of everything that comes in, so in this case, $3,400 goes into my financial hub, all right? And we're, we're going to expand on this in a second, all right? But as you can see, right then and there, all $10,000 is accounted for. $3,300 is going to, into the tax account. $3,300 is staying in the business account for business expenses. And then 34% is going into my financial hub. Now, of that 34% in my financial hub, 
Some of it is going to go, of course, to home expenses. And for me, this is going to be 50% of that 34%. So if, if, you know, that 34% is $3,400, $1,700 of the total $10,000 that came in is going toward my home expenses. All right. Then I also have a vacation account. I really, really love vacations. Uh, I love traveling, uh, going to different countries and spending time with my family, you know, cuddling with my wife and my daughter and, and you know, my, my two boys on the beach in Hawaii is just like, you know, a great idea for me, you know, jumping on the plane and just going somewhere. All right. So, you know, uh, I have a vacation account and for me, 20% of everything, uh, of that 34% goes into my vacation amount. So, you know, all in all of the $10,000 that originally came in, $680 is going to that vacation account. All right. Now my next account that I have is my market uh, you know, cause I do a lot of trading in the markets, uh, and then real estate as well. And for me, 25% of the 34% goes into this account. So all in all total $850 is going to go into that account that came in from the $10,000. All right. So as we can see, $10,000 came in $3,400 went over here and $850 went here. All right. I, I hope you can see that. All right. Now, my my next account, my my only other account that I have is what I call my fun account. All right. My fun account is just 5% of that 34%. All right. So $10,000 comes in, only $170 is going towards that fun account. Now, the fun account is just that. It's just an account that uh, you know, if I want to buy something, you know, I want to buy a watch. I'm, I'm pretty much a watch whore. I love watches. Uh, then that's where, uh, I'm going to get that money from, uh, to buy that. Or, you know, I want a new computer or, you know, whatever. All right. That's where, uh, it's, that's where all that money is going to be that I'm going to use. So I can use it for anything I want. All right. If I want to buy something, if I want to do something, you know, if I want to take the family out, uh, for dinner, that's where that money is coming from. All right. So just to kind of go over it again, you know, we have our, our money coming in checks come in, let's say, you know, $10,000 drops in. All right. $3,300 is going to the tax account. $3,300 is staying in the business account for uh, business expenses. And then $3,400 is coming over here to the financial hub, which gets split between my home expenses, vacation account, fun account right here, and my uh, market and real estate account. All right. Now, these um, you know, percentages can vary. You can adjust them as you see fit. All right. You know, of the 34%, 50% of that goes into my home expenses. You don't have to have, you know, 50%. You could have 40% or maybe you need, you know, more. Maybe you need 75%. Whatever that case is, that's what you, you know, you need to adjust. And then for me, 20% goes into my vacation fund because I just really love vacations. 25% goes into my market and real estate account uh, of the 34%. And then of the 34%, 5% of that goes into my fun account for spending. All right. Now, I know a lot of you cannot, you know, break up your money th this extensively. All right. So at the very least, this is what I suggest. All right. When you have money coming in, any type of check or, you know, direct deposit, whatever. All right. It has to go into a business account. All right. No doubt about that. From there, 33% needs to go into a tax account immediately. For me, everything is done automatically. I have set up everything. Let, let me go back here. All right. All right. All of this happens automatically. All right. The second that I get any money into this account, everything gets split up as I want it automatically. I don't even have to think about it. Right. It just automatically happens. And that's kind of what you want. So when 
money drops into your business account, have 33% of it automatically go into your tax account because you have to pay taxes, all right? You don't pay taxes. Uh, unfortunately, you will get locked up for it, all right? Um, and then from the business account, remember, 33% of that is going to be for business expenses. Again, this will kind of, you know, be dependent on, um, you know, on your budget, on, on what's going on in your business. All right. That, that number can be adjusted. All right. And then you have a home account. All right. Which that home account is 34%. All right. So all in all, all that money, let's say $10,000 comes in, all of it gets thrown right there into those three different accounts. All right. There's only three accounts here. All right. You have your business account, which it drops into your tax account and your home account. All right. The business account, the business expenses here is not an account that just stays in the business account. All right. Um, if, if you wanted to, you could, um, you know, drop this into a separate account if you want to and have four accounts. That's just fine. I don't. Uh, but that's actually what happens. And then, of course, everything else goes into your home account and you can split this up as you want. You can, you know, subdivide it as you see fit, invest in what you want, whatever. This is the way the wealthy run their money, all right? It is a system, and you have to use a system with absolutely everything you do if you want to be successful. You know, I know a lot of you marketers out there, you know, you have a system and a plan and a funnel for every little damn thing in your business, but yet you're still screwing with your money, all right? Money comes in, and the first thing you do is you drop it into your personal account. You know, why is it that we have a plan for everything else but our money? You absolutely need money. I'm sorry. You absolutely need to have a plan for your money. And right now, I'm just giving you the plan that has worked for me and just sharing it with you so that you can see what I do, all right, how my money is managed. And uh, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today is just, you know, a little bit uh, on inside on what I do. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below this video uh, and I will get back with you, you know, as soon as I can. And uh, until next time, guys, see you then.